Today I'll be showing you how to get started in Foxhole. When you start the game, you'll be asked to join a faction, the Wardens or the Colonials. They don't have any gameplay impact and you can change your faction after every war. I'm going to choose Colonials because I always play Colonials. Then you click deploy to get started. After choosing your faction and deploying, you'll start on the home island. The home island is a place where you can do some firearms training and stuff if you head in this direction. But if you want to get right into the battle, just go to one of these travel tents. Travel tents will have swords on them to indicate that you can go to a battle, basically. Go to one of them and press E. Uh, Tooltips will appear on the left corner here. And press E and you'll see the world map. Each hex is a region where you can fight. Uh, hexes that are controlled fully by the enemy are hexes where you cannot spawn, of course. Uh, and hexes that are controlled by your team are hexes where you can spawn at. Now you have two diff different types of hexes where you can spawn at. You have the back lines, with, where there are no enemies present. And you have the front lines, where you have enemies present. Front lines are indicated with a blue and green character right here. If you hover over a hex, you'll get information about that hex. For a newer player, the only uh, good information about these hexes is the friendly pop count. Look at, uh, f try to find a friendly pop count that is high, such as here in Fisher Fisherman's Row or in Tempest Island. You can also have cases where the area is full, such as here at Deadlands. A queue will be started. started. You can click here and you'll enter the queue. But if you don't want to wait, I advise that you choose another region. In this example, I'll choose Tempest Island. Once you've chosen your region, you'll spawn in that region. Press tab to open up your inventory and you can see that you have a hammer, a pistol and two pistol clips. This is your starting uh, equipment that you'll get every time you spawn. Press 1 to equip your hammer, press 2 to equip your pistol and press 3 to uh, and if you press 3 you would equip uh, whatever you had in this slot on the top left corner you can see what we have equipped in our hand currently with uh, weapons you can see that you have a ammo count with the pistol we only have zero bullets here so if you press R we'll reload that pistol and because we had a clip in our backpack that pistol was filled. If you did not have a clip, that pistol would not get reloaded, of course. Now, a hammer and a pistol are, are definitely useful, but there are there is better equipment, and there will be a hammer tutorial. Uh, there will be a building tutorial uh, in the future. But for now, a new player just head to the uh, garrison camp, press E, and the stockpile will open. Press this, these three bullets here and you'll see all the uh, weapons that you can get here. There are other items that you can get, but for right now, just focus on getting a rifle and two rifle clips. By clicking on an item, you'll start assembling it. Once it's fully assembled, it'll uh, be placed in your backpack. Hovering over an item will also give you extra information. This is very useful for, uh, for the ammo types. To know what they uh, what they are used for. Now to equip your rifle, you have to open up your inventory and left click the rifle. It'll automatically be placed in your first slot here. Most uh, main uh, weapons go in this slot. Now equip your rifle and press R to reload and there you have it. You have a fully loaded weapon. Aiming is very simple, just like in other games, just hold the right click. Your crosshairs will appear. These indicate accuracy, of course, and to be more accurate, just hold still and your character will focus. To be more accurate, you can uh, either crouch down or even lay down. Laying down is the most accurate way of shooting uh, weapons. You can turn your camera by holding middle, your middle mouse button. This is very useful because geometrically, aiming at the corners of your screen will allow you to look further. The last thing you need to know about aiming is uh, line of sight. So for instance, if I aim at that tree over there, 
uh, you can see that my crosshairs turn red. This means that there's something or someone in my way and my bullet will not go towards the tree. In this case, it is the wall. So I won't be able to hit the tree. Your uh, crosshairs will turn red uh, if a friendly is standing in front of you as well. So keep it in, keep in mind that you can hit friendlies and they can die. Throughout the world, you'll find structures like these. Uh, this is a foxhole, there's also a pillbox, and gun nests, and bunkers, and etc. If you go close to one of them, uh, you'll get this tooltip, um, press Q to enter or E to upgrade. Uh, this is going to be in the building tutorial, so don't focus about this uh, right now. Press Q to enter it, now you've entered this structure. Structures are very good because you can't get damage while you're in the structure, unless gas is used uh, on you or you're being shelled or something but uh, just keep in mind you're going to be safe in a structure now to find combat finding combat is very easy press m to open your open up your map if you scroll out you can see the entirety of the world you can even scroll into other regions but you don't need to do that right now go to the arrow that is you and look for green and or blue dots like in this area here this means uh, that there are players there, because the dots represent players. You can logically conclude that there's a battle happening here. Head in that general direction, so you have to head east and follow the road, and we'll end up there. If you learned something, uh, or enjoyed the video, uh, why don't you leave a like and a comment? Uh, if you like hearing my voice, why don't you leave a subscribe, and maybe look at some other content that I make? And um, have a good one in Foxhole, and remember, if you don't know something, just ask.